Not reading from quotes from successful entrepreneurs, not reading biographies of successful people, or even doing quote unquote research on your vertical because when you're being honest with yourself, you know that research is not work. I'll tell you what work is. Work is what you want to do the absolute least, okay? The best thing for your business is almost always the last thing you want to do. Getting that license, getting that business bank account, getting that 100 cold calls, 200 cold calls a day done. That's what real work is. And the most important work is almost always, almost, almost always what you least want to do. At least until you get to the higher levels of luxury in business and you can delegate what you hate. But until then, what you least want to do is almost the most important thing to do. And that's what you need to take action on because it's not about becoming, okay? So many guys get this wrong. You don't have to become anything to become successful. You don't have to be anything to be successful because identity is an illusion. The identity of success is merely just a side effect of taking right actions over a long period of time consistently. Being successful is an illusion, okay? It's a fun illusion, but what you really are is the Holy Spirit temporarily incarnated into this physical body to play the game of life for a period of time. Yes, you can use that illusion of success to create and reinforce positive actions and habits. And you can act as if you're successful, but what really gets you to becoming and being successful is taking actions. Okay, but understand success is the result of consistently taking those positive actions over time, not the other way around. This is not reading the secret and thinking of success and then all of a sudden you will magically become successful. Okay, it's understanding that success, just like being an entrepreneur, is an illusion. Okay, it's, it's an identity that you take on. On top of what the reality is, which is you being the Holy Spirit temporarily incarnated into this body. Because it's a fun identity to take on in this game of life. Okay. But acting and thinking successful will not get you there. It is the actions that will get you there. Okay. Success is the result of consistently taking those positive actions over time, not the other way around. When you channel your will into the right thoughts and the right actions, you become successful over time. You become an overnight success after five, seven, eight years of hard work. That's how it works. But it's the actions. Everybody that's successful, you just see what they have, but it's the actions that got them there. Okay. And only then do you get to play the role of successful entrepreneur on the great stage of life. And it's a much better part to play than the broke failure. I've played them both and I can confirm that through direct experience. Getting to play the successful entrepreneur with the money is much more fun than the broke failure. Okay? Because most people don't know they're playing a game. So people will judge you on that and that judgment affects you. So it's much more fun to be judged as someone who is successful um, and to have the resources that come with that and the added sexual market value and all those other good things in the game of life. But I didn't get to become successful because I read The Secrets, okay? If you're reading The Secret and you're on these forums, these attraction forums, that's all well and good, but the limiting factor is action. Whether you believe in it or not, what's going to get you there is, the, is taking the actions. Okay? Consistent action got me here. I'm speaking to you from Thailand, by the way. That's why I hate when my coaching clients tell me that they're not as tough or as committed as me. As if that commitment is something I inherited as opposed to taking the right actions over time, waking up, fighting mediocrity, and average every day. All those Friday nights that I was in working, Saturday nights that I stayed in working, getting up at six every day, working a side business on top of my job every night after work, every weekend, saving every dollar I made. Still mostly doing that, by the way. 
because I'm not going to be fully bulletproof until I'm 40 and I'm 36 now. You guys can do it a lot faster if you're younger than me and you follow my stuff. I could probably take five to 10 years off your learning curve. Same thing with my coaching clients. I'm financially free, but I'm not financially bulletproof. And I'll have more content on that. It's going to take me till 40 to get there with the passports, you know, all the flows that I want, the multiple properties, all that stuff. But the reality is I'm not tougher than anyone because at the granular level, identifying with anything outside of, of the Holy Spirit temporarily incarnated into this homo sapien that you see talking to you is an illusion. Okay, one you can use for good, but illusion nonetheless, this, this toughness, it's just really me choosing act, tough actions. It's choosing the harder action to do consistently over time. And, and every day being a battle to do that, okay? Today, prior to doing this video and after doing this video, I will be fighting a war minute to minute, hour to hour, day by day to consistently choose the hard thing, to consistently choose the thing that's going to move me forward, to consistently push past the pain because I know that, that that's consistently going to make me happier over time and that hedonism living for the moment will consistently make me unhappier over time and broke by the way so you want to be in a good state and by state i mean the combination of thoughts feelings and physical sensations we constantly feel each and every moment but that state is constantly fluctuating when i was lying face down on the bathroom floor three months ago from the worst food poisoning that i've ever experienced in my life 10 out of 10 in pain the state that i was in was hell had God come along to take me and take my life, I gladly would have accepted because I was in that amount of pain. I wasn't tough in 